Donald Trump's chief spokesperson, or one of them, uh, was on CNN with Jake Tapper. And, uh, and here she is getting into a little tussle about the question of Islamophobe. Uh, Donald Trump. Let's talk about some of them. Pence's interview last night has earned praise from white supremacists and neo-Nazis and other racists. David Duke told BuzzFeed it's good to see an individual like Pence and others start to reject this absolute controlled media. James Edwards, a white supremacist radio host, tweeted Bravo. The Daily Stormer, which is a neo-Nazi website, said of the Trump uh, said of the interview with Pence, Trump chose a solid guy to back him up. It seems. Does it make you at all uncomfortable to hear praise from people like that? No, because you can't control what other people do. What makes me uncomfortable is when the father of a terrorist openly supports a presidential candidate, uh, when someone who simply wants to secure the border uh, is somehow a racist or a bigot. People who want to control illegal immigration are labeled racists and bigots. People who want to stop ISIS from coming into their communities are called Islamophobic. Uh, these are hardworking American citizens, and I know that Hillary Clinton and a lot of her friends do not border state. Their children go to private schools, and they don't have to deal with the impact of illegal immigration like many of us in border states do. But to insult them based upon an insinuation is absolutely absurd. Because we can turn around and say, look at the people that are supporting Hillary Clinton, Could burning the American flags, defacing public property, okay. violently protesting, Katrina, calling for cops no to be murdered called, in the streets. That's no, absurd. No one has called people who don't want ISIS to move into their neighborhood Islamophobic. That has never happened in the history of the world. That is absolutely what they are talking about. If you speak out against no, bringing in Syrian refugees, you are a bigot. People, who, people call people who hate Muslims Islamophobic, but people do not say that about people who don't want ISIS to move in. Listen, it's not just critics who are in the liberal media, quote unquote. According to his office, Republican Senator Mike Lee today spoke with Pence and told him, quote, Republicans must identify David Duke's racism as deplorable. Lee also encouraged the Trump campaign to be explicit in its denunciation of the alt-right movement. That is not a liberal. That is Utah Senator Mike Lee, a Tea Party conservative, red Republican. He thinks your campaign and your candidates are not doing enough to condemn these racist views. Is Mike Lee wrong? And he's also a never-Trumper who has never had anything nice to say about Mr. Trump. And really, this entire interview and all of these interviews based around this one word, deplorable, is simply because the Trump campaign is not going to use Hillary Clinton's terminology. That's what we're talking about here. That's, um, and that echoes what Mike Pence said on the Hill the other day when he refused to use the word deplorable in talking about David Duke. He couldn't come up with any other adjectives for David Duke. They just want to distance themselves from the um, from the comments, but the, there's Katrina Pearson making the um, you know the obvious point that um, you know all those people who uh, get maligned who don't want ISIS to move into their neighborhood. I mean, the thing that they never talk about is what happens to property values when ISIS moves in. They just <laughs> they get destroyed. The property values. I mean, the property does, too, actually. Calm down, Sam. This is a regressive program. Um, yeah, Please. I'm sorry. I got a little bit too unregressive there. It was a little disturbing.